Lord, you know the secrets of our hearts. Shut not your ears to our prayers, but spare us, Lord most holy. O Lord most holy, do not let the pains of death turn us away from you at our last hour. Shouts of joy resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die, but live and will proclaim what the Lord has done. I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been destroyed yet in my flesh, I will see God. We pray, merciful Father and Lord of life, with whom live the spirits of those who departed in the faith, we thank you for the blessings of body and soul that you granted this our departed loved one, Ethel, whose earthly remains we now lay to rest. And above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, living and departed, that we shall rise again at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We read from 1 Corinthians 15. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the immor imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. We now commit Ethel's body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly bodies so that they will both be like his glorious body by the power that enables him to subdue all things to himself. May God the Father who created this body, and may God the Son who by his blood redeemed this body, and may God the Holy Spirit who by holy baptism sanctified this body to be his temple, keep these remains to the day of resurrection of all flesh. And Lord, continue to remember us in your kingdom and teach us evermore to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, by the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, you destroyed death, and by his rest in the tomb, you sanctified the graves, your saints. And by his glorious resurrection, you have brought life and immortality to light, so that all who die in him abide in peace and hope. Receive our thanks for the victory over death and the grave which you won for us. Keep us in everlasting fellowship with all that wait for him on earth and with all in heaven who are with him, who is the resurrection and the life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and remain with you always. Amen. Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let us go forth in peace in the name of our Lord. Amen. <laughs>